Welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to talk about a fascinating topic, living on the moon. It has been a dream of mankind for centuries to explore and colonize the moon. But, have you ever wondered why we still haven't achieved it? It seems like a simple idea, but in reality, it's much more complicated. So, let's delve into this topic and uncover why we can't live on the moon. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the first to see our latest videos. The moon is one of the most fascinating objects in our solar system. It's a constant presence in our sky and has been the subject of numerous scientific studies and cultural myths. But despite its allure, the moon is a hostile place that poses numerous challenges to human life. So why can't we live on the moon? One of the most significant obstacles to human habitation on the moon is the lack of atmosphere. Unlike Earth, which has a thick atmosphere that protects us from the sun's harmful rays, the moon has virtually no atmosphere at all. This means that anyone living on the moon would be exposed to high levels of radiation, which can cause serious health problems such as cancer and other illnesses. The lack of atmosphere also means that the temperature on the moon can vary from extremely hot to extremely cold, which would make it difficult for humans to survive. Another obstacle to living on the moon is the lack of water. Unlike Earth, which has vast oceans and rivers, the moon is an extremely dry place. There is no liquid water on the moon, which means that humans would have to bring their own water supply. This would be a significant challenge, as water is heavy and expensive to transport. The lack of atmosphere and water are not the only obstacles to human habitation on the moon. The moon's surface is also covered in a layer of fine dust, which can be harmful to human health. The dust is so fine that it can easily enter the lungs and cause respiratory problems. Moreover, the moon's surface is constantly bombarded by meteoroids, which can be dangerous to human life. Despite these obstacles, scientists and engineers have been working for decades to find ways to overcome them and make living on the moon a reality. One solution that has been proposed is to build a lunar base, which would serve as a stepping stone for future missions to Mars and beyond. A lunar base would provide a controlled environment where humans can live and work. It would also serve as a laboratory for research and experimentation, allowing scientists to learn more about the moon and its potential for supporting life. But building a lunar base is easier said than done. Apart from the technical challenges, there are also ethical and moral considerations. The moon is a pristine environment, untouched by human activity. Building a lunar base would have an impact on the moon's natural environment, and we must carefully consider the long-term consequences of such actions. One of the biggest challenges facing scientists and engineers who want to build a lunar base is the cost. Building a lunar base would require a massive amount of resources, time, and effort. The cost of building a lunar base is estimated to be in the billions of dollars, which would be a significant investment. Despite these challenges, there have been some successful missions to the moon. In 1969, NASA's Apollo 11 mission successfully landed two astronauts on the moon. This was a significant achievement for human space exploration and sparked a renewed interest in the moon. Since then, there have been numerous unmanned missions to the moon, including the recent Chinese Chang'e 5 mission, which successfully brought back samples from the moon's surface. These missions have provided valuable data and insights into the moon's geology, atmosphere, and potential for supporting human life. But there is still much we don't know about the moon, and there is still much work to be done before we can even consider living on the moon. One potential solution to the challenges of living on the moon is to use technology to create a sustainable living environment. For example, scientists are exploring the use of 3D printing to create habitats on the moon using local materials. This would reduce the need to transport heavy building materials from Earth and make it easier to establish a lunar base. Another potential solution is to use renewable energy sources to power the lunar base. Solar panels could be used to generate electricity, and water could be extracted from the moon's surface using a process called in situ resource utilization ISRU. This would reduce the need to transport water and fuel from Earth and make it more feasible to sustain human life on the moon. Despite these potential solutions, there are still many unknowns when it comes to living on the moon. For example, we don't yet know how long humans can live on the moon without suffering health problems, or how they will adapt to living in a low-gravity environment. These are important questions that must be answered before we can even begin to consider colonizing the moon. In conclusion, living on the moon is a dream that has fascinated humans for centuries. While there have been many successful missions to the moon, we still face numerous challenges when it comes to establishing a human presence on the lunar surface. 
The lack of atmosphere, water, and protection from radiation are significant obstacles, and there are also ethical and moral considerations to take into account. However, with advances in technology and a continued commitment to space exploration, it may one day be possible to live on the moon. Until then, we will continue to explore and learn more about this fascinating object in our sky. That's it, we've reached the end of the video. If you made it this far, you're one of the best people out there. Before you go, make sure to give us a like to let us know you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions that pop into your head in the middle of the night, feel free to leave them in the comments below so we can answer them for you.